name is Wilford Advice, and I am here with Janae Wilson. And we are still celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month. But first, let's watch a short clip about COVID-19. It's been fun actually learning about Hispanic Heritage Month so far. Really? Yeah, you know, my parents are actually from Puerto Rico and Mexico. So it's actually been great learning about my culture and where my family comes from. Well, let's take a look at El Salvador. So Hispanic Heritage Month for me uh, is specifically an opportunity uh, to acknowledge, celebrate, and let people know that um, one, that Cinco de Mayo is not specifically Mexico's Independence Day, uh, and actually is really only primarily celebrated in the United States, uh, but two, it exposes not only Mexico's Independence Day on September 16th, but several other Latin American countries uh, throughout the world that within September 15th to October 15th encompasses a lot of countries and communities, uh, ethnicities, backgrounds, and different populations that should and deserve the honor uh, to be celebrated throughout that month. El Salvador is the smallest and most densely populated of the seven Central American countries. Known as the land of volcanoes, El Salvador has frequent earthquakes and volcanic activity. About half of all Salvadorians live in the countryside. Most of the wealthy families live in San Salvador in houses and apartments. The government offers free education to children up to the ninth grade, but many families cannot afford the cost of supplies and transportation. About three million Salvadorians live in the United States and send money home to El Salvador. Rice, beans, and tortillas are the main foods in El Salvador. Some of the most popular dishes are pupusas, platano frito, mojara frita, and sopa de res. Let's watch Gina, whose family is from El Salvador, take us to one of her favorite places to eat. Thank you, Gina, for showing us this awesome restaurant. Now let's move on and look at Guatemala. Guatemala is a country of volcanoes, mountains, and beaches on the Pacific Ocean and the Caribbean Sea. This small country is marked by contrasts. Three of Guatemala's 30 volcanoes are still active. Guatemala is only slightly larger than the U.S. state of Tennessee. Guatemala was once home to the Maya civilization. Their society was very advanced in math and astronomy. While historians are not sure why the Maya empire collapsed, today Maya women continue to weave brightly colored cloth and fashion that their ancestors wore. More than half the population is indigenous. The enduring legacy of Maya architecture 
and weaving cannot be denied. Let's take a look at what Eisenhower artists are doing for Hispanic Heritage Month. Hi, I'm Mr. Medina. I'm in the 10 hallway in room 16 and I teach photography. For our project in Hispanic Heritage Month, what we're going to do in photography is to have my students photograph of possessions from their parents, some of their personal belongings that would identify them with their cultural background. Things that they have at home that will represent them you know, in their heritage. For Hispanic Heritage Month, there could be things such as uh, possessions from their parents, some of their personal belongings that would identify them with their cultural background. What's up? It looks like the art program has a lot of cool new stuff. <laughs> now let's take a look at Honduras. Honduras is bordered by Guatemala, Nicaragua, and El Salvador. Honduras is the second largest country in Central America, following Nicaragua. Mountains are plentiful in Honduras, but it is the only country in Central America without volcanoes. The majority of people in Honduras live in the highlands and are Roman Catholic. Family life is considered very important. Popular foods vary across the country and include cavasa or tapioca, seafood, and chili peppers. The poor rely primary on corn, beans, rice, and other staples and eat very little meat. Soccer is a very popular sport in Honduras and most communities have their own teams in addition to following the national team. While playing soccer is more common among boys, basketball, volleyball, and dancing are more common among girls. de tristeza, lágrimas, no me queda más que aguantar bien mi derrota y brindarte felicidad. No me queda más si tu rezo y sería una imposibilidad y esto que no era amor. Lo que negas, lo que dices, que nunca pasó Es el más dulce recuerdo de mi vida Yo tenía una esperanza en el fondo de mi alma Que un día te quedaras tú conmigo Y aún no ha dado mi ilusión que alimenta mi corazón El corazón que hoy tiene que verte como solo amigo Y aunque viví enamorada y totalmente equivocada No me importa Porque esto sí fue el amor Por mi parte lo más lindo, el más grande amor Y aunque siempre lo denuncies para mí Fue lo más Thank you for watching and we have much more great stuff coming in the future.